Welcome everyone. Today I'm making how to make a gluten-free shortbread cookie. You are going to love it and you're going to be so impressed on how quick this can be done. So I have already measured the half a cup of butter and these are the prep bowls that Epicure carries. Um, if you if it's filled all the way to the top, it's one cup. So right now I have a lot of spaces so it looks like there's a lot more butter than actually there is. So in the back of these little packages, they tell you exactly how to make them. All the calories, ingredients are in here. Ingredients are oat flour, organic powdered sugar, modified tapioca starch, cornstarch, vanilla extract powder, super simple to pronounce. So here is, you're gonna make 15 cookies with this little pack. So using a stand mixer with paddle attachment, which I don't personally have, or you can just use a hand mixer. So this is what I'm gonna be using today, a little hand mixer. And it tells you to, uh, on medium speed, and then it tells you to beat the mix with half a cup of softened unsalted butter and one tablespoon of water. So these are the four and one spoons. So I am just going to get the one tablespoon of water. And get that in the bowl. So if you haven't seen these little spoons in the catalog, there is, it's one tablespoon, one teaspoon, and if you flip the spoon, you're gonna have half a teaspoon and also a quarter teaspoon. These are a must have. So, very versatile. And then it says for two to three minutes, so until it's soft. And then a uniform dough forms, a uniform dough forms. So that's what we're gonna do right now. After that, we're gonna scoop or roll dough into 15 balls. Um, one heaping tablespoon each. So you can use this again, or you can use one of these little do cookies here. I forget what they're called. So they're brand new uh, in this current catalog. And hopefully they stay in the next catalogs. So then you're gonna use that. Uh, arrange on a line sheet pan. So here's the Epicure sheet pan. I already have the bacon, the bacon roll now called sheet line, uh, sheet pan liner. They are a must have also in your kitchen uh, ensemble. I use these almost daily. Every time I have something in the oven, if it's not my steamer, I have it on um, one of these sheet pan liners with the sheet pan. But I'm actually going to be only making half the batch into cookies. The other half, I'm actually going to be pressing them down into the perfect petite molds. So I'm actually going to be doing half this batch. And you want to do a little bit of a creative um, ensemble with another product Epicure came up with um, this season is the butter tart. So I'm going to be doing, this will be the base for the next, um, for half um, a batch of the butter tart square with the shortbread base. So everything is super versatile. You can like, make this into a, a, just a cookie, one big cookie into a pan. You can use the round, the round pans too. So it's amazing. So all I'm gonna do now is open this up. I'm gonna use Epicure's shears. Here it looks like, and I have already a little bit of water in here. And voila, there's the pack. So now I can stand this up, and there you go. So now all I do is add this half a cup of butter. And here's another tool that is currently in the catalog. So I'm just gonna scoop it out, spread it out. Really great for the steamers, so you don't cut your steamers, because everything is silicone. Um, it, the, the, the end does bend a bit, so it's not to like cut stuff up, it's just to press it down because it is a little piece of metal in here. So not to, to push it too much, otherwise you will make a hole in it. So there we go. So there's the butter, a little bit of water in the bottom, and the mix. So I will start mixing this up. And right back. Welcome back to shortbread cookies. So I have mixed it up and here's how the batter looks like. Completely like a, like a typical batter would be, even if it's gluten-free. 
So this is the little spoon, scoop that I'm using. This is the two tablespoon scoop, and they only say a heaping tablespoon. So I'm not filling it up completely, and I'm just adding it to this uh, the sheet pan liner. I've also started a few little balls. As you can see, it's a little bit less than these. And all I'm doing is using this little spatula and pushing them down. And this will be used, I will go cook this about half the amount of time. And I am going to be making the butter tart filling. And part of the butter tart filling will go onto these little cookies. So it'll be like a little square. Um, just, it's so good. I can't believe all of this is gluten free and they're so easy to make. And yeah, you can make a little or you can make a lot all at once. So very quick, all I did was add butter to this batter, by the way, and a little bit of water, no eggs. So it's amazing. So now all I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll these up a little bit like they recommend you do. Probably to keep the cookie together. So I have four here. Awesome. Now all I'm going to do is just push them down. There you go. And I like to use a fork. I like I like to use the uh, I like to see the the lines on the cookie. And there, that's how it would look. I can't wait to put this in the oven and have my dessert today. That's what I like about Epic here. Everything I'm doing here, I'm cooking, I'm baking. It's all things that I'm going to be eating. Epicure's consumable, so much potential. Please send me a message if you have any questions about Epicure, about hosting your own cooking class as you can learn some of these amazing products and see it actually in front of you, how easy it is to cook with Epicure and how it saves time in the kitchen. And if you have any questions on the business as well, please reach out. I didn't think I was gonna be doing this 13 years later and here I am teaching you how to make quick shortbread cookies, gluten-free, and it's amazing. I love it. Please send me questions, join me. Lots of opportunity. Hey, so here are the cookies. So I am gonna do the taste test. Amazing. You gotta get this batch, this mix. Talk to you soon.